This is a gas-electric hybrid car. The idea behind this machine is to increase fuel mileage and reduce emissions of a gas-powered car while overcoming the long distance limitations of an electric car. Looks like a regular ride, but peek inside and you'll find new parts and innovations that made the whole idea possible. Let's see how it works. When it comes to vehicles, hybrid simply means using two or more distinct power sources to create motion. There are lots of different types of automotive hybrids out there, but the most common ones are called parallel hybrids. That's where the two power sources work alone or together, side by side, or parallel to each other. The big challenge for engineers? Produce a gas miser that gets to highway speed as fast as any big guzzler. With only a tiny engine, an electric motor, and a big set of batteries to turn the wheels. But to do that, engineers had to figure out how to get the gas and electric motors to work together to maximize fuel efficiency. Then, keep the batteries charged so you never have to plug them in. There are two things that dogged hybrid car makers when it came to balancing fuel economy with performance. A small gas engine is really efficient when cruising at a fixed speed but it lacks kick on acceleration. An electric motor gives instant pickup off the mark, but dies soon after. Hybrid makers wanted both, so they dreamt up a clever device that makes the electric motor, gas engine, and battery charger talk to each other. It's called a power split device, the real brains behind this pioneering hybrid. A set of gears drive a chain that's connected to the axle that drives the car's wheels. It's the delicate interplay between the gears that determines how much fuel you burn. When you first start rolling, the electric motor spins this outer gear. And that gets you up to speed without wasting a drop of gas. Perfect for the stop and start of day-to-day -day driving. But you wouldn't want to hit the highway on batteries alone. Electric cars only go a couple hundred kilometers before they need a recharge. So once you get up to speed, the gas engine kicks in. It all happens through the power splitter. These four planetary gears start to spin, boosting the car's power. This center gear also goes into action. It's connected to a generator that either charges the batteries or sends extra power to the electric motor. It's so smooth, the driver doesn't feel a thing. The only sign of change is on the monitor that lets you know which power source is working. You're now burning gas at peak efficiency and charging the batteries, never having to compromise power. When it's time to pass a slowpoke, the electric motor has enough juice to fire up again and add power to the gas engine. So even when you hit the gas, you don't waste any. The hybrid's computer keeps track of power consumption and sends ongoing commands to the power splitter. It stops the gas engine when you don't need it and starts it again when you do. It even kicks it into a battery charging idle if it senses your system is getting dangerously low. The electric hybrid's power split device opened the floodgates on innovation. This machine marks a turning point in automotive engineering that's giving drivers what they want. A powerful yet low-cost ride that goes a long way.